From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Increasing CO2 emissions are not just polluting the atmosphere. The oceans, which absorb around a quarter of these emissions, are suffering too. Once in the water, the carbon dioxide is transformed into acid, leading to a process known as ocean acidification. This is not just threatening the existence of the marine species, but also the communities who depend on fishing and seafood for their income and diet. At the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA's Environmental Laboratories in Monaco, a team of scientists is studying the impact, says head of the Radio Ecological Lab, Michel Warnell. When you increase the acidity, the organism can no longer uh, have access to this carbonate to build their skeleton. And so it's reducing the skeleton, and many organisms depend on this skeleton to survive, to grow, to reproduce. Michel and his team use radioisotopes as tracers. They work with the different levels of acidity that have been predicted for the next 100 years. One experiment studies how oysters and mussels will have problems forming their shells with less available carbonates, a process known as calcification. In Villefranche-sur-Mer, in the south of France, marine biologists from the Oceanographic Laboratory are collecting samples of water, plants and sea organisms. Under the supervision of Professor Jean-Pierre Gattuso, the center has been monitoring the effects of acidity since 2006. We are partnering with the IAEA in Monaco and we do joint experiments on various calcifiers uh, shells, mollusks, and, uh, and uh, corals uh, to understand uh, the effects of ocean acidification. The IAEA and its partners are trying to discover which species are more vulnerable or resistant to ocean acidification so that countries can use this knowledge to adapt to the conditions in a more acidic ocean. This report was produced by Louise Potterton and Peter Pavlicek for the United Nations.